Hello everybody, what is going on today? Buddy Blackford here and I have another awesome Photoshop CS6 tutorial for you today and we're gonna learn about the indexed color mode and I'm gonna help you understand it a little bit. So the index color mode can be found when you go to image mode and then there's a set here called indexed color and it pops up and it gives you um, some options that you can work with and uh, good to note that there is a preview button here to uh, check off if you want to uh, preview the different settings that you've been selecting. So a little bit about index color mode before we get into it. It has uh, two advantages. Um, it creates images as small as like grayscale, so um, not a huge file size, and uh, you get color instead of just shades of gray. So there's a bunch of different um, options here where you can select how many colors you want. 256 is the most that you can um, put in the index color mode. So you can't get like millions of colors like with RGB or CMYK, but you can get a decent amount here. Now, why would you want to use index color mode? Well, it's good for images that are displayed on web pages or ones that are used in, um, like if you're making graphics for like a PowerPoint presentation or something like that. So like anything computer generated, like computer generated presentations and things like that. So just remember that the drawback is you can have only up to 256 colors. You get to actually choose the colors that you want. So there's a couple presets here and then if you want to you can come to custom colors and you can use these different uh, colors here. See like this stuff here. So that's uh, how you can select your colors there. So let's get a little bit into what's going on with these options. So we've got our palette here. It's got a bunch of different um, sets of colors here. We've got web, which is going to give you the web colors. You got local selective. Um, not totally sure what all of these mean because I don't use this that often, but um, if you're going to like test them out you can always check with the preview button here before you actually apply the uh, index color mode so you can just like go through and look to see what you want as you can see there's not a whole lot of different uh, stuff that's going on here so colors here you can control your color um, forced here means uh, it forces um, what's called a lookup table and that's uh, a group of like colors that you uh, have selected that Photoshop uses to create the in index color based upon. So you can force it to use like all the web colors here, which um, there's 216 web safe colors. You can have it use those. You can um, or have it save those. Um, what it does is it holds a specific color. So if you choose black and white, then it's going to hold um, black and white pure black and pure white and uh, that makes the blacks and whites more uh, richer so more richer that's not that's not what you're supposed to say but you guys get the idea so then there's primaries here which is a uh, red green blue cyan magenta yellow black and white and then you've got uh, web which was the 216 and then you got custom where you can pick your own that you want so uh, the next thing we got here is a transparency checkoff and it's going to preserve the transparent areas of the image if uh, you have some in there and there's no transparent parts of the image in this picture so we don't have to worry about that in this one but if you do then click on this to preserve the transparency now come down here into the options we've got matte and what this does is it fills any transparent spots um, in your image with a specific color so you can go to custom and pick the color or you can pick from these couple presets that you have here Netscape gray that's a new one that I haven't heard of oh well never use it we've got dither here and this pretty much um, blends in the image the colors of the image a little bit better so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on none real quick and put this to web all right, and now if I click and unclick the preview button, 
you can see that this is what the dither with none uh, has on it. If I go to diffusion here, you can see that it blends it in a little bit better. Here's pattern, and then our noise here. And the, they're just different methods here of uh, blending in. And usually diffusion is pretty good. Um, we've got our amount here, and that's the amount of dither that you're gonna use. So let's put this at 100% and see what that looks like. So that's 100%. And let's make sure it's, yep, make sure it's going on. And then let's put this down to like 15%. Oh, I hit 21 instead of 15, but here's 21%. So you can see like the difference going on there. I'm gonna put it back to 75 because that's what I like on this one. And then you got the checkbox for preserve exact colors. And um, that's basically pretty much always want to have that checked. It uh, selects the checkbox, or you select the checkbox to uh, hold the color measurements in the lookup table. So I would pretty much always have that checked. So I'll hit OK, and your image changes into something like this. So that's what the uh, index color mode looks like. Um, you can tell it's like a little grainy and everything like that. It's trying to keep all the colors in the images with only 256 colors. So remember that this photo had millions of colors in it and now it's dropped down to 256 and Photoshop does its best to um, keep all the detail that it can in there. It looks like it did a very good job over here with the hair and like on the bracelets and things like that. So, And uh, this has a really small file si size and uh, can be used in um, web images and like PowerPoint presentations. So just remember that, and uh, that's all I want to teach you about on the index color mode. So thanks for watching this one, and I hope you guys can use this information on your next project. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day.